if you go either either mode, table shield must be closed. So you know, okay, we've got an issue with the table shield. If the table shield is closed, we've got an issue with the lockout switch. So to adjust this lockout switch, you kind of got to get down here. Down underneath, you'll need uh, two 15 16 wrenches and loosen it off. And then we'll just spin this locking nut back. Now, as you bring it closer, the light tool come on. That means it's sensing the shield. You want to just adjust it so that there's about a uh, 30 second inch gap when the table shield is pushed in closed and the locker switch is out as far as it'll go. So that looks about right. So we'll snug up these, these nuts. Grab our wrenches. And you don't want to over torque these nuts or you could actually split the sensor. So just good and snug. And we got about a, uh, a heavy 30 second inch of uh, adjustment and the light is on. So it means it's, it's working. And that should be good. So now when we select the mode, it still says table shield open. Um, that's telling you that that alarm was on. But if we select an auto mode and it works manual mode that works as well so so we're, we're good <laughs>